Okay, see Lindelof's videos. Evaluating composite functions with your TI Inspire CAS. I don't know how this works with non cas calculators, so I want to say that. Because I always get people saying, how come my calculator won't do it? If you have a CAS, your, ca your CAS will do this. So let's try this thing. Let's try to just evaluate some stuff with your CAS calculator. Well, I'm just going to go to calculator here. All I'm going to do initially is I'm just going to put in some functions. And the first function is 3x plus 2. And then all I'm going to do is I'm going to store that as, in this case, f of x. So I hit control, the control button right here, and then the blue key at the top says STO, which is store, and I'm going to save this as f of x. So I'm going to type in f of x. It's kind of anticlimactic because when you hit it, it just says done. If you want to be sure that it worked, you can just type it in f of x just to look at it if you're not sure that it took the way you wanted it to, but there's f of x, so that is what I wanted. The, we have two more functions, and the next one is g of x, and it says that it's negative... Whoops, let me go back. Negative x squared, control store again, and they want me to say this as g of x. So here, this is back as g of x. So done. Again, I can go back and look to see if it came up the way I wanted to. You don't need to do this, but I'm going to make sure that I got this the way I wanted to, and it looks good to me. Lastly, we have our h of x function, and it happens to be our it's not really a rational function, but it's a function in the form of a fraction. So I'm going to hit Control Division. And it gives me that fraction bar. And it happens to be x minus 2. Use your down cursor over 5. This is actually is important, though. Use your right-hand cursor to make sure that the cursor is fully on the right-hand side of this thing before you try to store it. Otherwise, you could end up storing just a part of it. So Control Store. And I'm going to call that h of x. h of x have all of that done. So the next thing I'm going to do from here is I'm going to start to evaluate some stuff and see what I get. And here are the things I'm asked to evaluate. I'm asked to evaluate f of g of negative 3. So I'm going to type that in. I'm asked to evaluate f. I'm going to open it of g of negative 3. You don't have to close the parentheses. These are a couple things that are important. The fact that this f came up bold and this g came up bold says that your calculator recognizes these as functions. If they don't, there is some problem in between or you did some weird notation when you typed it in. And there needs to be parentheses between the two. So I have f of g of negative 3, and I hit enter, and I get back negative 25, which I happen to know is true. Pretty easy so far, right? Um, g of f of 2, same thing. g of f, remember, open it of 2. Because I'm not putting anything else, you don't need to put in the right-hand parentheses. You can if you want to, but I usually don't. Comes back as negative 64. That's true. How about h of h of negative 4? So we get h of h of negative 4 and get back this answer. Remember, if you don't like your answer in the form of a fraction, if you prefer it in decimals, um, you can always do this. You can hit Control and then hit the approximation key is right there. So Enter, and it gives you back that value. Um, what if we did f of g of x? Let's see what happened if I put in f of g of x. What if I didn't put in a value? I just wanted back an equation. So I got f of g of x. What would that give me back? And that would give me back the exact right answer, right? So hopefully this is really helpful. I want you to kind of remember, the, as much as I, we're working on these composite functions, is that you can put a function into your calculator and you can save it. As a matter of fact, you can take a function, you can also do this if you wanted to. You could say, I have, um, let's say, x squared, just something really simple. And you say, okay, I'm going to store that as uh, r of x, so r of x. So there's that. You can differentiate that. So what you can do from there is you say, okay, I have r of x here. So you're going to do some problem on the AP exam or whatever, and you're like, I need to have this saved. So you can go to calculus, uh, go to menu, choose calculus, hit derivative. This was R of X, so X of R of X, R of X. And there's that function. So you're like, okay, that, that worked out pretty good. What if I want to save that? So let's say you want to save this derivative function. You can just go back up with your up cursor. See how it highlighted that? Hit Enter. It makes it again. 
control store and I'm going to say that and I'm, I'm making notes to myself on my page as I take this exam and I'm going to say okay I'm going to call the derivative q of x I'm going to make my derivative q of x so q of x so lots of stuff you can do being able to store functions on your calculator is incredibly important and one of the many uses of it is um, to make composite functions or evaluate composite functions hope this was really helpful if you have any questions or comments let me know oh and if you have any shortcuts you're like hey charlie you should know that if you do this or that it's even better please share and i'll share it along so thanks for watching if you haven't already subscribed please do thanks